Uh, we're about to go in and record 21 tracks, 20, 19 tracks for the Raven Watkins album. Pat, you're doing jumping jacks? Yeah, so I turned it on. Yeah. Do you want me to turn it off on you? No, should I turn it Save some for the recording when we're ready. First time I saw Reagan and Watkins at the Comedy Stars, like, damn, these fools are talented. I want to take them out for a double scoop, eh? When I first heard Reagan and Watkins, I wanted to kill myself. So I guess it's just like any other day. <laughs> Dude, the first time I heard Ray and Watkins, I was like, man, this is some hot shit right here, man. Oh, man, what is this? This is some kind of comedy genius right here. Man, I miss love songs, Pat. Tell me about it. The way they used to write songs about women was so beautiful. I don't know if I could write a love song about women now. Like, what would a love song about the 21st century girl even sound like? She's got duck lips and cell phones for hands. She's a 21st century girl and I'm her man. Reagan Watkins style? I don't know how to put it into words, but it makes me confused. But it makes me angry. It makes me question who am I? Reagan Watkins has a lot of things going for them stylistically. They talk about butts, which we like. They also talk about tits. They also talk about puss. They talk about girls squirting. And that's what we're really into. Mm hmm. Reagan Watkins give us hopes for all the inmates. When I first heard Reagan and Watkins, I was disgusted. It was like a couple of pigs with instruments just bleeding into the stereo system. Yuck. Hey, are you the guy? Yes, I'm the guy. Are you sure? Are you sure? You're the guy. You're the guy. Well, now you're making me wonder, but I'm pretty sure I'm the guy. I'm not a cop. Why don't you say that? Because I'm not a cop. Okay, so why don't you say that? Because this is illegal. Hey, make it you be on your voice. I'm sorry, I guess draw a lot of attention. If I were to compare Reagan Watkins to one band, it would be my favorite band, My Chemical Romance. The only other super duo that compares to Reagan Watkins are Donnie and Marie Osmond. Man in the studio with Reagan and Watkins, what I wouldn't give to be there watching them sing and play like two little cherubs. Yeah, man, I feel like it was tough because they seemed like tortured souls underneath all the funny, funny business. I didn't know saxophones belonged in country, but I'll be goddamn. Is it necessary to have a saxophone player in the band? Fuck yeah, it is! Or maybe it isn't. How dirty is too dirty? One time this fool ate my panocha from the front to the back to the back to the front to the back to the front again, and that still wasn't as dirty as the Reagan and Watkins album. Dirty can never be too dirty. And that's what I like about that Reagan Watkins volume that they put into that album. It's like, it's dirty to a certain extent, it's dirty to a certain level, but it's like, you really don't hear that many curse words in it. So it's like, kind of like mentally capable of talk, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you how dirty is too dirty. Reagan and Watkins is too dirty. Oh, let's talk about cum. Let's talk about nipples and buttholes and wieners and penises and vaginas. Oh, that'll be funny. That'll be the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, right. It's degrading the women and I don't appreciate it. Nothing is too dirty. Robbie, and I have sex with your mom, your mom. All joking aside, your mom's loving is a bomb, the bomb. Christmas is gonna get real weird, cause I have two sons of my own. Meet Taylor and Billy, we like sports.
Yeah, man, I heard the fans be going crazy and stuff, dog. What are the fans gonna think? They better fucking like it, or they're gonna have to come see this bitch right here. I think Reagan and Watkins is the best thing to ever happen to music or comedy, and you can pretty much ask any one of my peers, and they'll tell you the same thing. Reagan and Watkins suck. Dick. Reagan and Watkins are not attractive. They look like young boys, and they're not smart or funny or musical. You get a guy like Reagan and Watkins stink that fucking bad. I don't know why they keep getting sets, but like, you know, I know I'm the older guy. I mean, maybe that's the new style of comedy, but like... If that's what comedy is, I'm going to be out of business soon. When I first heard Reagan and Watkins, I actually thought there was something wrong with them. You know, like, you know, you know. For me, Reagan and Watkins embodies sexual healing, deep vaginal healing, deep down into my cervix. Are you talking about Reagan and Watkins again? In my fucking house? Sweetie, I was just excited. Fuck out of Reagan and Watkins again in my fucking house! That's not music, baby. It's like white walkers being stabbed by dragon glass. Fuck them! I'm sorry. Oh sorry, God. guys. My God. Was that even necessary? You know, when we first started dating, I would play Reagan and Watkins as ambient music behind our lovemaking, so I don't even know But that's it, bitch. Get the fuck out of my house. You know, the best part of Reagan and Watkins' show is when it's done, you know? Like, as soon as that light comes on and you're just like, wow! Reagan and Watkins? Ugh. Not my cup of tea, in my opinion, but whatever. Teach his own. I actually think they're bad for comedy, you know? They're worse for comedy than the abolition of free speech. Honestly, if you had no music on and the room you were in was just zero sound, that would be better music than what they're giving you. And that's not even music. Reagan and Watkins, the comedy musical duo, they're a real fucking stain on comedy. I mean, comedy music, thanks Steve Martin covered it already with the banjo. Suck a dick. There's no number to describe however bad or awful. On a zero to ten, they're fucking 10,000. Of That's how much they suck. Reagan and Watkins is like the Beach Boys. If uh, they were terrible, they never grew up, and nobody liked them. My skateboard, got your lip gloss, you touch my shoulder, so awkward. I got you tickets to the warp tour, you got me gauges from the hot topic store. This summer, I think that we'll fall in love. This summer, I think that we'll finally hug. This summer, you'll cheat on me with my best friend. This summer, I hope that it never ends. This summer, you and Brad catch a ride to the party. We say good things bye to my cousin Marty. You and Brad disappear into another room. Ten minutes later, I hear boom, boom, boom. No, it's not the DJ. No, it's not the cops. It's Brad and my girl, but you're sucking on his. Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store Main Room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah. Wow, it feels good every time. Make some noise. We're here at the Comedy Store. Brian Redband's here. Hey. The great Ryan J. E. Belt drawing tonight's episode already hard at work. This is a very, very, very exciting uh, time for the state of Kill Tony. And uh, how'd you guys like that video, huh? Little Reagan and Watkins video. The big album comes out Friday. We're very excited. And, uh, and uh, we go on the road Friday. Jeremiah's not sure even going to have any time to soak it in. Because we're going to his hometown of Lawrence, Kansas on Friday. And then the next night in Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa on Sunday. We come back just for Monday's episode with Jeffrey Ross and special uh, surprises. And then we go back the next day. Appleton, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Chicago, Madison, Minneapolis. And then we come back for another whole three days until we go back to New York, New York. Poughkeepsie, New York, and then two shows at the Gramercy Theater. Tickets still available for that second show. It's very important that um, 
people in New York buy those tickets to the second show at the Gramercy yeah. Theater. That's going to be a lot of fun. But I think it'll sell out anyway because I think people from the first show will just stay over for the second show, not even realizing that there's a second show. So it'll work out. Anyway, drink your caveman coffee. Go to cavemancoffeeco.com. Use the promo code KILLTONY. Save 15%. Do yourself a favor and get some of that sweet, sweet nitro caveman coffee. Love it. I'm drinking it right now. It's a goddamn, it's a must-have. I've been drinking iced coffee my whole life, and this stuff is absolutely amazing. I want to call it crack, but uh, <laughs> I feel like that's an insult to its, uh, its amazing, amazing um, cold brew. They go through an amazing process where it's brewed for minimal acid and a smooth taste. Wow. Just coffee with none of the crap. Wow. Nitro coffee. <laughs> it's important to stay healthy. It's important to stay good and take care of yourself. That's why we use Hims, a wellness brand for men. You've heard us talking about Hims and how they are helping guys look their best. If you haven't yet, it's time to see what they're all about. 66% of men start to lose their hair by age 35, Brian. Mm. Can you believe that? 35. Once you've noticed thinning hair, it can be too late. Is that hairline slowly starting to move backwards? Any bald spots? Go to ForHims.com, a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men. You know about this. Oh, of course. There's no snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. You just like go online, answer a few questions, and you talk to a real doctor, and you get prescribed real medication for your hair. For Hims connects you to a bunch of different like professional people, and they, all you have to do is answer a few questions. Get the hair loss treatment everybody is talking about, featured at GQ, Men's Health, Esquire, and Playboy, Ooh, to name a few. La, Sexy la. spots in And our listeners can get started with the Hymns Complete Hair Kit for just $5 today, right now, while supplies last. See website for full details and safety information. This could cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or pharmacy somewhere else. Instead, go to forhims.com slash killtony. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash K-I-L-L-T-O-N-Y. Forhims.com slash killtony. Isn't that exciting? We'll have a bunch more, uh, a couple more new announcements next week that we're excited about. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and uh, so let's uh, let's get into tonight's show, this shall we? One, Here yeah. we are. We're live. Hello to the hundreds, perhaps thousands watching on YouTube live right now. This is a big episode for us. We've gone through a lot of evolution on this show. You know, it started with a robot named the Iron Patriot. He was the head of security for the first, uh, you know, uh, 70 episodes or something like that. Maybe less than that. I don't know. And then we uh, we switched over to having a band, and it started with just Pat Reagan, and then Pat Reagan brought in a young buck named Jeremiah Watkins, and they started a band together, and it's just amazing. Their album comes out Friday, self-titled album, and they're here tonight as guests on the panel on this show. I give to you the only two band leaders in the show's history. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Reagan and Watkins. Here they are. It's a real family vibe. We love them. There he is. Pat Reagan is back. Jeremiah Watkins in the flesh. No characters necessary. No Mr. Fumnar. No Shanks. No uh, none of it. Uh, yes. And um, I'm very excited that you guys are here. And I'm excited about the album coming out on Friday. You can pre-order it right now at ReaganandWatkins.com. How you guys feel? Good? I feel great. How's everybody doing out there? This is exciting. There's a party going on June 6th, the album release party live here in the main room of the Comedy Store. And uh, Yeah, we're going to be doing some music, and there's going to be some stand-up sets from Red Band, Tony, uh, Joel Jimenez, our buddy Josh Wolf, and some surprise guests. And uh, as a special treat for the, the Kill Tony listeners, the diehards that came out tonight, uh, if you grab one of these from us after the show, we will give you free entry on Thursday to the show. So uh, it's a way to thank everybody for supporting us over the years. Awesome. Look at that. So if you're in town on Thursday... Grab one of these after the show, and now you have something to do on Thursday. Get to hang out at the comedy store and fucking rock and roll. Watch some stand-up comedy. And if you signed up for uh, Speedweed's uh, thing out in the lobby, he's it's giving true. away $500 worth of marijuana yeah. and a $500 gift card to anyone that signed up. Yeah, uh, one you, lucky person. If you walked by that iPad in the lobby, you fucked up because yeah. you could have been in the running for about $1,000 worth of free marijuana. And yeah. these are worth $20. So there you go, guys. <laughs> wow, we're just giving away a bunch of free stuff. Uh, 
Uh, Should have started with the uh, the speedweed and then worked our way back. Now, I, I'm glad you guys are here because you guys both definitely know that there's a band on this show there. because you two happen to be the only two band leaders that there's ever been. Pat Reagan's here, everybody, the original. I missed you, Pat. It's good seeing you, buddy. Last hey. time I listened to a Pat Reagan album, I fell in love with them and gave them full creative control on the other side of the stage to start a band, and uh, he brought in Jeremiah and Joel. A lot of people don't may not realize that was all Pat Reagan's design. So, <laughs> how you doing, Pat? Did you prepare? Did you prepare <laughs> something for tonight? You have something written there? You ever go to the gas station and the attendants on fucking acid? It's like. See you in heaven, dude. Hell yeah, dude. As smooth as it gets, and it has begun. So you guys know that there's a band, because uh, you started it, and they're here tonight, and I believe that uh, we, have a, we have a full band tonight, perhaps the, the band that uh, helped you guys out on the new Reagan and Watkins album. Maybe some surprise members. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, every single week, uh, they, and they're characters, of course, right? I yeah, mean, they're, they're committing yeah. tonight. I love it. Yeah. So in character, every single episode, the band uh, stays in character. At least they try their hardest. You never know what they're going to be or what they're going to do. Tonight, it's Joel Berg leading the band. Uh, so let's see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. It is the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, Chroma Chris, Nick Liberator, and Joel Rakowski. Joel Rakowski, yes. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Mechanics. <laughs> Very clearly. Oh, my God. That is frightening. Hey, look at, look at these guys. Wow. The crowd loses their minds at the uh, sight of these mechanics. How are you? Uh, I didn't realize uh, Mario was a mechanic. This is incredible. Hey, Tony. My name is Jim. Uh, very lackluster uh, reaction from the crowd. We're going to fix that. Yeah. I like that. You said Chip. Jim. 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 Thank you, Jeremiah. There you go. Jim. And uh, next to you, clearly, we have Courtney Love is a mechanic. <laughs> Hello, Tony. My name is Liam Nissan. <laughs> Liam Nissan? I have oh. a very particular set of skills. Wow. I can already tell. This is my favorite Chroma Chris character instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's what uh, John Benet looked like after that rough morning, huh? And then back here, we have uh, clearly some guys that look like actual mechanics back here. Just real mechanics. That hey, I'm Ricky Trans back here. Ricky Trans. All right. And uh, and what's your name, uh, Young Buck? Hey, I'm a, I'm a Tamika Sanchez Little Feather. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Tamika I Sanchez. I oh. love how this episode's starting out. <laughs> All right. Well, Jeremiah loves it. So uh, that's like a uh, that's like a, a super delegate or something like that. I, it counts for more votes than. Did it start off bad? We can replace it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna cost you. <laughs> no, I love it. We got the mechanics. We have Reagan and Watkins. Everything is in position. I have this bucket of destiny right here, and that means that we are seconds away from starting. Bunch of people signed up for the show before the show uh, for the opportunity to get 60 uninterrupted seconds on this stage and then get interviewed by uh, this whole panel of wacky, wacky characters up here. If uh, you know your time's up and you hear the sound of a kitten, that means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. There you go. That's it. You guys ready to start this thing or what? It's live. Kill Tony. The Comedy Store on a Monday. No one has more fun on a Monday than us. That's the only rule. You guys excited? You ready to get this thing fucking started? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Your first comedian going up tonight, getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds, goes by the name of Jared Long. Here we go. Jared Long. From the audience. Here we go. Wow. Band upgrade. <laughs> Exciting. It's no surprise to me, I am my own worst enemy. Cause every now and then I kick the living shit out of me. One more time for Jared Long, everybody. Wow. Okay. Hi guys. Um, you may have noticed I have a cold sore. It's really gross. Um, so the thing that really sucks about these is that everyone that looks at you 
immediately thinks of the thousand dicks you just finished sucking, so it's not fun. Uh, including my girlfriend, actually, funny enough, who's sitting over there if you want to. It's right there. Um, so when you try and explain it, it literally gets worse because then, you know, I'm saying this. I'm like, oh, yeah, I've had them since I was a baby. No, wait, hold on. No, 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 they, my dad gave them to me. Oh, shit, hold on. That's not what I'm trying to say, either, huh? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is there's other ways to get herpes besides sucking dick, all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So... Um, is it just me or is Trump back to go for a twofer? Like, he's really going to get two? We, he came out of nowhere. And now he's going to be out here for eight fucking years. So I feel like as a community, we, like, forgot to go home after work. Fuck yeah, Jared Long. <laughs> Heck yeah. Where's this cold sore at? Let's talk about it. Where's it? Oh, yeah, right there. Look at you, dirty bitch. You want oh my guys my to take God. a look at it? Wow, yeah, look under the hood uh, there. Dave uh, Deary, can we get a uh, wet rag and some soap to the stage, please? Yes, we say wet rag and soap will cleanse the stage of yeah. this cold lemon sore. lemon zing that you need? What's that? It's lemon zing. Lemon, okay, gotcha. Very good. All right. He looks like if Jared Leto had herpes. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Okay. You have the whole, you have everything else going for you except for that big fucking cold sore right in the corner That's of your literally mouth. Jared and that ponytail. <laughs> so I don't think anybody s- thinks you sucked a thousand dicks to get your cold sore. I think we, I think your set sucked a thousand dicks. <laughs> Maybe a thousand and one. Uh, so first time doing stand up? Yep. Wow. Look at that. I don't know. I don't know if you know this, Jer, but this is a crazy place to start stand-up comedy. Yeah. That set's going to live on the internet forever. It's never uh, going to go away, I've just like your herpes. I've been was here. I knew Very that, good. Yeah. I love it that you talk over my punchlines, too. You, not only do you not have them, but you cancel out other people's punchlines at the same time. You're like, if I'm not funny, nobody's going to be funny. So, Jared, tell us about you. Where are you from? Riverside. R- yep, you look like ri- you're from Riverside, so that's perfect. You look like you live by an actual riverside. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is your first time doing stand-up? How old are you? 25. 25. So how did you actually get the herpes? Let's talk about it. Tell the truth. Here. Yeah. How old is the herpes? Yeah. I sincerely hope my parents are telling the truth and that they're 25 years old and that I've had them since I was born. So your parents told you that you've had herpes your whole life? Yes. Sometimes when your mom has herpes and she gives birth, the herpes from her vagina gets on your face. I is heard. That so that's true? why yeah. it's literally my dad is that, that true? had him. So Doctor Redband is in the house tonight. <laughs> All right. Okay. Whatever Red that band. is. Redband. I don't know what that was an attempt at that weird noise, but uh... so your parents told you that you've had cold sores your whole life. Yes, and so my biological dad had them. And my stepdad also has them. My mom somehow still doesn't. Uh, I got bad news for you, buddy. (laughs) I think that you are in denial. And your mom has full-blown fucking herpes. In fact, I'm positive of it. You think those guys are using condoms on your mom? (laughs) No, they got these ones, and I don't think they're the same This is a family with matching cold sores. I love it. Stop touching it. <laughs> this the, guy looks the, like the. I'm, I'm out. I'm this good. guy looks like the guy like in the herpes commercial that's like climbing a rock and he looks over and he's like, "Do you suffer from genital herpes?" Because <laughs> I sure as hell do. <laughs> <laughs> so does your girlfriend have them? No. You kiss your girlfriend with that mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Not for the last three days. So when you have an outbreak, you guys just. Go cold turkey. You go. Nu- you go on the cheek. Yeah, it's really on weird. the cheek. Yeah, thank goodness you can't get cold sores on your cheek. Your girlfriend's got cheek herpes. Wait, can you get them on your cheek? The butt cheek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jared, what do you do for work? Uh, I work at a staffing agency. A staff yep. agency. Staffing. <laughs> you have staff all kinds staff. of infections, huh? <laughs> oh my God. Who are you staffing? The gonorrhea. Dumbest people in Ontario. <laughs> really? Yes. Sir. Like, like what? What types of jobs? Uh, warehouses. Uh-huh. Uh, li- uh, 
Toys R Us used to be one. You ever <laughs> see a job come in and you're like, wow, this job's better than my job. Maybe I should just oh, take this many job. many times, yeah. No, my girlfriend almost stopped working there for another client. Like, she was like, oh, fuck this, I'm out. I'm going to go work for one of the people that work for us. This Wait, your girl, you work with your girlfriend? That's where we met. Is that where you guys, you guys met there? So did this start as a romantic office relationship? I would look at her ass at work and she finally caught me. Wow. Dude, and that's when I knew. It's been three years, so it worked out well. I mean, (laughs) here's this creepy guy with herpes looking at my ass. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) He works at a herpes warehouse. You're not going to like the way you look. (laughs) So, how long, uh, how how did you end up hanging out? Did you guys go after drink or after work for drinks or what happened? I actually invited her to a Bill Burr show. Oh, well, that's the way to get all the pussies wet. Listen to Bill Burr. Talk about how fucking women suck, you fucking idiots. All they do is fucking nag, 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 nag. That's a way to fucking get them all worked up. So what happened? You went, you saw Bill Burr, and then what happened? So we went to a bar afterwards, Uh and we got drunk. I told her to come dance with me, and she kissed me instead because she didn't want to get out, leave the bar. Right. Little did she know that was the most dangerous <laughs> move she could have made. She wanted to embarrass herself. Just keep kissing those fucking leaky lips of yours. Dude. I was already. I didn't ask her out when I had a cold sore. I'm not no, that dumb. No, I know. I know. You don't fucking do that. Nobody does that, right? Nobody has. Nobody has ask a girl out with cold sore confidence. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hi. You want to go out with me or what? <laughs> you got to just lead with a certain side of the face, and they'll never notice. Jared, I, tell us uh, something interesting about you. Any fun hobbies? Anything like that? You do? You good at anything? Paintball. Paintball? Yes, sir. Really? Yeah. That's actually a thing that you really do. I've gone to wow, more than one Wow, that's something I've suggested that, that perhaps as many people's hobbies, but nobody's ever admitted that that's the thing. I got really excited when Be Real on Joe's podcast. If anybody, yeah. No. He plays professional paintball. It was oh cool. wow! You ever you ever get a cold sore and shoot yourself in the face with a paintball gun? Just I or, get or them from playing paintball. Yeah. You legitimately will the shell will fuck up. Yeah. yeah. The shell will fuck up your lip and then you'll oh get a cold sore later. How big's your hopper, bro? Yeah. I got the biggest hopper, bro. It's automatic too. <sighs> wow. <laughs> so so you. So you heard you like listen to podcasts and then you're like, I'm going to come and do stand up for the first time on Kill Tony. What, can you explain your thought process? I really wanted to embarrass myself and I knew I wouldn't be the least funny and most crazy. How long have you wanted to do stand up? Uh, probably five, six years since I figured out I wouldn't be able to do a regular job. And I like to think I'm funny. <laughs> well, well, one thing about your set that I found interesting. It wasn't funny, right? He took but, notes but, during this. You wow. said that when you try to explain it, it literally gets worse. And then you did try to explain it, and it yeah. did get worse. <laughs> yeah. I was right. I was right then. <laughs> All right. Well, Jared, uh, you know, there's been, a, there's been a lot of demand in the comedy oh, world. Buddy Rager right there. It's been a lot of demand in the comedy world for a medium Jay Okerson, and I think that wow. I think you fit the profile <laughs> perfectly. And you got the show started tonight, so you know we appreciate you. There he goes, Jared Long, everybody. Hey, it's no surprise to me. I am my own worst enemy. Cause every now and then I beat the living shit out of me. Fuck yeah, nailed the timing there. Uh, pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for your next comedian. Mark Henderson, everyone. Mark Henderson. Here he comes. Here we go. One more time for Mark Henderson. What's up, tall people? So my uh, very first helicopter ride, and it was real cool because my helicopter pilot was black. That made me proud because you don't see that all the time. Only thing was, like 15 minutes into our flight, a police helicopter pulled us over. <laughs> I guess two black people in a helicopter look suspicious. So I had to call Uber helicopter to get home. <laughs> More about me, man, I got trust issues. I don't trust anybody. Like, I don't even trust funeral homes. One tried to rip me off a little while back. Tried to charge me full price for a cremation and the person that died died in the fire. (laughs) 
Like, how you gonna charge me full price and y'all just reheating him? <laughs> I ain't gonna have enough time for another one, so. Ah, there you go, 58 seconds from Mark Henderson. Hell yeah, Mark. Welcome back. You've been on this show before. Yes, sir. What do we find out about you with the other times that you've been on? What has been most of the, our topic of conversation? I came to L.A. and it's hard to get on stage. Mm-hmm. Yo, mm-hmm. I remember now. That's yes. right. You're just like sort of like mad and shit. How does it feel to have herpes now? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You've got herpes now. I said, watch me be the next person. I know I was going to be the next person. That's right. You know, His you girlfriend g- didn't get it, so I'm... Sure, I'm good. All right. Well, there you go. Go to forhims.com. Clear it up right away. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Mark, uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, a little bit over 15 years. 15 years. Yes, wow. Oh. That is incredible. And remind us of where you have uh, been doing it. Uh, from Chicago, but I was on tour with like uh, Lil Rail, Dion Cole, Adele Givens, Rodman. So I toured with a lot of cats. Mm-hmm. He was asking me, like, a lot of cats, but not me. Cat Williams. Not Cat Williams. <laughs> almost. I'm sure almost. You ever meet Cat Williams? I haven't met him yet. Yeah. He's an interesting uh, character. So he's sort I of like a tough so guy. He's a, he's a real like little fucking alpha. Anyway. Um, <laughs> how did, about you, did you and Cat Williams butt heads? Uh, actually, Uh-oh. it's funny you put it that way. We actually bumped uh, shoulders once. He kept the uh, he kept uh, he made a weird sort of like line right at me once when I was a door guy here and gave me the old fucking like hard shoulder. Whoa. And I was like, Jesus. all right. I mean, excuse that's me, gonna, Bobo. Yeah, exactly. If that's what you, I mean, that's just how he you know he was trying to get in my head. You know, I was just a peasant door guy at the time, but he knew he knew that eventually I'd be one of the top young rising comedians <laughs> in the world. And he was threatened by my, you know, just my confidence and composure as a door guy. I was a happy guy back then. <laughs> Confident. You, you think that Cat Williams was thinking all this when he accidentally bumped you in the shoulder? No, <laughs> no, I don't. I was just being silly for comedic effect. Um, so, Mark, uh, welcome back. I'm excited that you're here. So how do you make money while supplementing your income? Uh, I go not on the road getting a lot on stage. And, uh, what? A couple of, I go on the road a lot. Oh, okay. And uh, I got a couple of tracks on Sirius XM Radio. So cool. Uh, you go on the road. You're booked. You book yourself. Like, where, how do you? How does that work? When I'm touring with different comics. So oh, cool. If I'm on the road with Dion or oh, Rob nice. Man, so yeah. they still take you out a lot. Not a lot, but here right. and there. <laughs> I wish it was more. But yeah. yeah. What are some of your favorite cities? Favorite things to do? What What part of the country do you like? I love Chicago, born and raised. Yeah. Shout out I love it. The Apollo 13 is big fans of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> love Atlanta as well. Used to live in Atlanta for a while. Uh, Atlanta, Chicago. These are all my si- favorite cities for first 48. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta, <laughs> Chicago. Where else? I don't really mess with St. Louis. Uh, oh, shit. I don't no, st- I haven't been there. Dark. Don't start a gang war here. Uh <laughs> it says here that your entire family was in the Holocaust on the side of the Nazis. <laughs> Do you have a, any comments on that? He, he's got notes. I don't even know how to respond to that. Is there truth to this? I think I'm Jewish. Like, No, the Jewish was the other side in the Holocaust. It uh, uh, often gets confused. Like, which team was which in the ho- the big battle of the Holocaust. Yeah. Yeah. Heard Holocaust. <laughs> People always feel so bad for the Germans after that. Yeah. No, yeah, the Jews were the bad guys in the Holocaust. I, big uh, twist. I noticed you had a rag in your back pocket. Are you, uh, you have any mechanic skills? Oh. <laughs> or are you just stealing props from the band? <laughs> Inspiring mechanic. Do you know how to fix a car? Absolutely not. Yeah, what not it, at all. What is he the hit it right for? now. Do you, is that just because you're sweaty? I didn't realize. Yeah, that's like a sweat towel. So if I'm sweating, wipe off sweat. <laughs> I would be using it as a herpes towel tonight. <laughs> oh. I think uh, I think a sweat towel's not really necessary during a 60 second set. Um, that'd be pretty that'd be pretty impressive. I expect that from a fat person, but not you, Mark Henderson. <laughs> what do you use that towel for? Like, is it like it, just wiping your head yeah. off? Weird. <laughs> Weird. Just, yeah. Never oh, have yeah. done that. Never had a towel. Never had a handkerchief to use it to sneeze or. No, just to wipe, just, just to wipe your. This, no. Yeah, you wouldn't use your your head wiping towel as a sneeze towel I, as well. Yeah. Only. Are you a sweaty <laughs> guy? You just sweat a lot. 
No, just when it's hot. I sweat. Well, all right. I like that. I mean, a sweat towel with a hoodie, sort of contradictory, <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe not wear the hoodie. It's like wearing yeah. a parka. <laughs> instead, of, sweat towel. instead of taking the hoodie off, you know, <laughs> just fucking rock the sweat towel. Do you, do you ever say anything when you're wiping your head off, like, Lord have mercy or something oh like that? Oh, my or? God. Red band. <laughs> Red band. Red band. Red band. <laughs> Two of the Apollo 13 members just walked out right then, Red Band. <laughs> Two of them died from laughter. <laughs> All right. Well, what else, Mark? You do anything for fun? What's your version of paintball? What's your... What, what do you do to take your mind Drive off by of... Uh, <laughs> I'm from Chicago. No, used to love Game of Thrones, but the uh, last episode was terrible, so... Really? You really <laughs> think that? Yeah, it was... <laughs> Do you Absolutely really think terrible. the last episode... Now, tell me why you think that. I mean, this is interesting, because we've never gotten to talk about this show on this show. We should before. ask the audience and have them... Not I rated. haven't seen it yet. Be careful what you say. Yeah, spoilers. Well, for well alerts. Uh, idiots, it was four weeks ago. It was the most watched show of all time. I'm you a mechanic. <laughs> I got a humble income. I just got HBO now. <laughs> Free trial. What was it that you hated the most? Was there a part that stood out to you that you disliked? Just curious as to what the an- what your answer is. <laughs> I didn't like this. that a lot of people didn't die in the last episode. Uh, Why they gotta be White Walkers? <laughs> okay, <laughs> Joel, Jim, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Why they gotta be White Walkers? So you wanted more people to die in the last episode? It's the grand finale. This is what this show does. It kills people. But they killed so many people throughout the entire season. But the way that. The two, I don't want the to main character that everybody thought was supposed to sit on the throne in the end dies in that episode. That meant nothing to you? Well, uh, I did not think that. Like that the person, person that was truly supposed to, that everything looked like it was going to go their way, gets killed not only by anyone, but by the one that she was supposed to like fucking like be with and the last one you thought would betray her. That just Yeah, didn't the two s- most annoying characters on the show. All right, all right. We're not going to get into our opinions about the characters on the show. We're you know what they did when they, uh, when they burned down the throne of the yeah. show? Yeah. They symbolically burned down the show. They yeah. were symbolically destroying the show, what they created. The well, first good. half of the episode was Tyrion walking. Um, I, I know. We went, we went off on a tangent here. Uh can we just admit that we because the there's story. been so much Game of Thrones talk, there is a sleeping train conductor in the front <laughs> row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. Yes, that's what that's what put him to sleep. He literally <laughs> nodded <laughs> off and was like, oh. <laughs> I think he's just tired, this guy. I don't think it has anything to do with the uh, Game of Thrones He talk. was all aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> They're just giving it away tonight. Look at that. <laughs> it's going to cost you extra. <laughs> there you go. All right, Mark. Well, um, I, Good job, man. Yeah, 15 years in the game. I love that you uh, sign up for this show. It's always fun chatting with you. It's always fun to see. We had one guy who was their first time, and you got you doing it 15 years. That's the wide range that we're in for tonight. How about another hand for Mark Henderson, Thank everyone? Mark you step back Henderson. from that ledge, my friend. Back. We could... I just don't like it when people say that they didn't like Game of Thrones. It's a bunch of Ask idiots. The audience. It's a you bunch of idiots that have never written anything in their entire life. You liked lives. it? You I liked mean, the finale? Oh, absolutely. Who I liked the, the finale of Game show. of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> Man, Who wow. didn't like it? Man, there you go. About 50 50. A, 50. Uh, a no. bunch of people that have been fed shit over the internet that think their opinion matters. Tony, real quick, that last guy, his uh, his his airport airplane joke was was great. Okay, perfect perfect time to say that right now. I know, nailed it. If you have any other notes for any of the other people that have been up, now's the time. Uh, uh, I know, I know that the, the the Game of Thrones thing really threw you if you didn't notice that the band just played Jumper by Third Eye Blind. Well, all right, let's just keep the show moving along and uh, let's keep moving <laughs> forward instead of backwards. It's, it's, and uh, it's, it's like Brennan Stark was a jumper. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and uh, again, we're keeping the show moving. I have a forward. band idea. Oh, all right, okay, here this we is go. it's it's <laughs> it's Brian Redband and Tony Hinchcliffe, and it's called Redband Red and Hinchcliffe. Oops, I farted. Fuck yeah! Make sure you buy that fucking album right now, guys. Uh, Reagan and Watkins, Reagan and Pulled another name out of the bucket and uh, put your hands together for your next comedian. It's Julian Aguilar, everybody. So what you what you what you want? Creature. What you want? 
What you, what you, what you One want? One of the luckiest people in Kill Tony history. Wow. <laughs> Here he is, Julian Aguilar, everyone. What's up, fuckers? How y'all doing? Uh... All right, I'm broke as fuck, and I'm the type of guy that when I get an order of french fries, I'll break them in half just so I can have more. <laughs> uh, I went to get a facial the other day, and some guy came on my face. <laughs> Not the facial I wanted. Oh my, God. Uh, my grandma is blind. Uh, which means my grandpa gets his dick sucked by a blind chick. Which means you guys are basic. Before I get out of here, I just want to say, fuck you, Kanye West. You look like my, uh, what comes out of my cat's ass when uh, she takes a shit. <laughs> Wait a second, oh wait god. a second. Hold on a oh second god. here. Oh god. You don't know what you just did. Oh my god. What's happening here? People are attacking Trump, Kanye, Game of Thrones, all my favorite things are being burned down. Whoa, get your leg off the table! The fuck are you doing, Julian Aguilar? Jesus Christ. I thought he was a mechanic. For those of you that are lady. fans of the show, you may recognize Julian. He's one of the luckiest people to ever be inside of the bucket. He gets pulled uh, w way more than uh, the odds are in his favor somehow. And he always starts every set uh, sort of good, and then in the end always says something extremely racist for no reason. <laughs> and tonight you did not disappoint. You basically said, Kanye looks like shit. Pretty much, that's the shortened version. Yes, I we did. got rid of all the extra <laughs> words. You said he looks like poop. <laughs> uh, Can you explain yourself a little bit? You're not a fan of uh, hip hop. Like no, I, I just don't like Kanye. You He's just you. So you like hip hop? I like hip hop. Yeah. You listen to He's it. He's like, I like the music, just not the skin color. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying you just don't like Kanye's music? Yeah, uh, I've just never been a fan of him. Okay. There's something uh, about him. <laughs> How'd you feel about the last episode of Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's ask the audience. <laughs> uh, so, Julian, let's talk about it. It's been a while since you've been on. Is your grandma really blind? She is blind. She lost her vision uh, from diabetes. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> but she can still suck that grandpa's dick. Hey. What up? Yeah. Hey. She might have diabetes, but she can't get enough and of that. And y'all basic because you can't suck a dick blind. Grandpa dick. Y'all basic. So, so, so she's. So you're saying she's never had to actually see one of your sets? Yeah. <laughs> oh! uh, that's Chroma Chris, Liam Nissan over there Liam with a Nissan. three point Dude, shot. He's got a very particular set of skills, killing. Yeah. All right. So Julian, uh, you are. How long you been doing stand up? Uh, it's an year and what? Is this? June now, six very months. Very good. Yeah. So, but okay, good. Never do the facial thing again. All right. Uh, okay. You don't have to do that. <laughs> I wanted to get a facial so a dude came on my face. Like, it's like, that was, I literally said, you had me, yeah. when you said I wanted to get a facial, I verbally caught myself saying, oh no. Yeah. Uh, I, I, and then you went exactly where the oh no, like you followed right through. So a dude came on my face and then you're like, on to the next one. Yeah. Like it was way too casual. <laughs> a facial is a facial. Like that's the first thing anybody thinks of. You got to do something else. Like, I wanted to get a facial the other day, but, you know, fucking... Did you learn that on the playground? Like, where did you hear... Oh. Like, that seems like a kid's joke, oh, you know? no. I okay. hang out at the playground, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I've I never... You do, getting that tight puss. Anyway, um... I've never seen anybody actually use the last two dots on a hat before. <laughs> That's a fucking Joelberg joke right there. That hat is wrapped around your skull. I didn't even notice that. Look at that. What do you got, a little fucking extender on that? You have a little combination lock in the back so that it stays there? No, no. Look at you, you tiny-headed fuck. 
There's comedians that have been here tonight that have cold sores bigger than your head. It's incredible. What's it like to have herpes now? Uh, okay, you know, Red Band. It, it really, like, I mean, we're, I don't know how many times you think that's going to work, but it wasn't even once. Uh, so, uh, Julian, how old are you? 22. 22. Look at you, you little fucking baby bird. He, he, he looks like a Boy Scout that got community service in Compton. <laughs> I'm one of you, I promise. <laughs> so 22 years old, what are we talking about? What are you doing? You live with your grandparents, right? Uh, no, my uncle. Oh, you live with your uncle. Yeah, no, I just, my grandma's just blind. Yeah, your grandma's blind. You can't live with her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your uncle's like, hey, who keeps changing the size on my hat? <laughs> <laughs> what does your uncle do? Uh, he's, uh, he works on doors. He's a welder. He's a welder. Yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, d- uh, so uh, what do you do? Me? How do I'm, you contribute? Um, I was working at a donut shop, but I got fired. Uh, yeah? What'd you get fired for? I don't know. Well, I think... Well, Fucking the just, holes. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's my boy Patty Rager right there. Oh, my. Cream so what'd you get fired for? Uh, no, this is... No, no, I was, uh, the no, <laughs> no, no, no. It turns out you can't sample while you work. It's crazy. I don't know. They just laid me off. They didn't need me no more. They didn't, uh, they didn't like need they you anymore. Fly. What they the fuck up. are we talking about here? <laughs> Were you good at the job? Um, I, 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 is it a famous donut place or was it like a personal, <laughs> privately owned family? Uh, it was like a uh, yeah, family owned. Yeah. yeah. And how long did you work there for? Uh, like. Three, four months. Three or four months. Yeah. What's your favorite donut? Uh, the pink one with the sprinkles. Yeah, of course it Simpsons is. Simpsons one. We <laughs> fucking knew it. We knew it. So you worked at a donut place for a few months. How long has it been since you lost that job? Um, maybe since February. February. So what do you do for like extra money when you want to uh, go out? And I fucking skateboard, so I'll film like skaters for like two bucks for a little clip or something. Really? Two yeah. bucks. Two you bucks. Do, you do two dollars. Hey, you need a clip, clip for two bucks, eh? I'll hook it up, eh? <laughs> Jesus, two bucks to Maybe film Sitting in somebody? the sun for four hours, <laughs> getting one clip. I don't care. Hey, I dude. A soda for hey, a do a kickflip, fool. <laughs> I'm going to capture that shit, eh? <laughs> we got it, fool. Send it to my grandma, fool. She likes it, eh? Look at my hat. It's tiny. <laughs> you skateboard a lot? Mm-hmm. You ever yeah. jump over your blind grandma before? No, no, no. That'd be a cool trick, dude. It's never <laughs> been done before. <laughs> be dope, She's like, yeah. it's windy today. <laughs> don't, don't give me hey, yo, ideas. shut up, grandma. Just lay there. <laughs> what, What's going on? What, what would your grandma say if she was in the room and she heard those jokes about her? Um, she don't understand English that well. So. <laughs> really? <laughs> Man. Can well, you, you don't know? speak it that well, so that's all right. <laughs> yeah. She's got all the disabilities. She's blind. She can't speak English. <laughs> She's brown. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should call your grandma right now and have Joelberg translate it. All right, you, you want? You, guys you, want you have her number? Yeah, I'll call. Let's home. call your blind grandma right now. All right. You're going to admit to her that uh, that you did jokes about her tonight. Right, well, I'm speaking. Oh wait, he's gonna translate, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Joel, how do you say uh, he, uh, that uh, she sucks dick in Spanish? Oh she sucks the grandpa's no, dick. <laughs> chupa verga. Wow, look at that. You make it sound amazing. Chup, not chupacabra, chupa verga. <laughs> oh. It's explaining it to I'll Chroma. Give her like Liam bro. Nissan finding out for the next time he, he travels abroad. <laughs> this oh, is very exciting. I see. He's finding, yes. his, he's finding his grandmother's phone number. Are you going to put it on speaker? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, All right, so it's ringing. There you go with <laughs> different rings. How does she know if she's sleeping? She's blind. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a dream. Is anything happening? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Man, you need to get a job. Pay your phone bill, dude. Uh, <laughs> His phone's just off. <laughs> Try to FaceTime her. Oh wait, sorry. Hello? Wait, wait, wait. Is she picking up? Yeah. Hello? Is it on speaker? You have to put no, it's not. Put Hello. it on speakerphone. It is on speaker. Look. She's like, come on, turn it up. Hola, mijo. <laughs> hola. Ah, hola. You have to no. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I thought turn it was it really up. hurt. You really thought for a second. I really did. What the hell's wrong I with hear you? I'm 
Hold on. No, she's you like, don't. Where's your she's, volume at? She's like, I'm sleeping, thing. I think. <laughs> Mijo, I can't tell, but I think I'm sleeping. <laughs> All right. It doesn't matter. She hung up on you. It's too confusing for her. She's clear. I don't want to. Uh, I mean, maybe I should have thought about this better because she doesn't know. She doesn't know where the fuck her phone is right now. Your grandma. Your grandma just answered the iron trying to get to a uh, phone call. <laughs> hey, did somebody say did somebody say FaceTimer as if it mattered? <laughs> All right. Last thing we need to do is be looking down at her kitchen floor while uh, talking to her. All right, Julian, man, you are lucky as hell. And I'm, I'm going to tell you something. A, a lot of people, I can tell, a lot of people don't like you, right? <laughs> I can tell that, and I get that. But one thing that you are doing that I love is you are definitely not only walking up to the line, you're clearly going over it at times. Uh, the only thing I would say is lose the, lose the easy jokes. If you're going to you know, talk about shit like that, and I loved the blind grandma sucking dick joke, the way you did it, the way you delivered it, it was fun and adorable uh and i even you know i don't even mind uh the racial stuff because eventually you're going to dial that in to where it actually gets laughs instead of like shrieks and groans and you're working at it you're 22 and you're gonna be just fine dude yeah, thanks, tony man. yeah patty reagan can i can i give you some advice because yeah, you're up? funny and you're and you're you're, con you're ballsy and you're confident um yeah, yeah, what's up? if you if you want to really be funny work harder all right I'm, I'm, right. That's true. That's good advice. There he goes. Julian Aguilar, everybody. <laughs> Gives a little peace sign at the end of his set. Guy's got swagger. Jeez. Hell yeah. How about a hand for this band tonight, huh? Yeah. Feels good in Sounds here. Sounds amazing. Some real fucking rock and roll shit going on in Full here. Full Reagan and Watkins band in the house. Heck yeah. All right. This looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Johnny Lee, everyone. Johnny Lee. Here we go. No. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. No Johnny Lee. It's okay. We're going to keep it moving along. Another name in the bucket. There you go. Sure. Yep. All right, how about a hand for Anthony Cardoza, everyone? Anthony. Has he lost his mind? Can he see or is he blind? Running as fast as they can. Iron Man wins again. Anthony Cardoza, everyone. Holy shit. Um, how's it going, guys? Uh, thanks for, or it's an honor to be here. Uh, I'm a little frazzled. I actually just came from a funeral. Uh, it was it was really weird. It was open casket, which is like a real, you know, kind of mind fuck. Um, so I walked up and I looked down and there's like a wig and rouge and lipstick and uh, a dress and high heels. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to remember my father that way. <laughs> my girlfriend, uh, she said she was constipated. I said, "What? No shit." A little constipation humor for you guys right there. Uh, I'm a lover, not a fighter, which is fine unless you go to prison. <laughs> I caught my roommate's beating cheeks. Gets annoying, you know, you gotta listen to it. So to get back in him, I, uh, I videotaped him and masturbated to it. That'll show him. That's all I got. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Anthony Cardoza. Hell yeah. <laughs> Anthony Cardoza. Tony? Fuck Huge yeah. Man, How man. are you, man? <laughs> Exciting times. This is your first time on the show, correct? Uh, yes. yes. Heck sir. yeah. And uh, you are a, what, a former amateur boxer? Yes, uh, you can tell by the nose. <laughs> yes, sir. Is that true? Yes. Wow, look at that. <laughs> God, am I good sometimes. Yes, I could tell by your blatantly yeah, so. broken nose. <laughs> yeah. Artie Lang style. I got a big nose and my... My, my parents were like, yeah, let's put him in combat sports. So it didn't work Fuck out too yeah. well. Fuck <laughs> yeah. So how long has it been since your last boxing match? Uh, a year. Wow. Yeah, a little, little less than a year. Are you out of the game now? or? Uh, you know what? I, I had a big problem with uh, alcohol and drugs. So I uh, 
So I, I kind of took some time to, to get my shit straight, and I, I want to go out um, the way I want to go out. So I want to do a couple more, and then I love it. So now you're sober. Yeah. Wow! Congratulations. How long has that been for? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll have like little hiccups. I'll like you know, I'll, I'll try a beer, but I haven't done drugs in a couple years, and I haven't drank like where I'm. What kind of drugs? Cocaine. Uh, yeah, I did a little bit of blow, and then uh, I like to pop pills. And did you ever fight high on stuff? Uh, well, no, I never. I was always really disciplined. And then, like, when I would actually, after the fight, then we'd get all fucked up. And, yeah. You know, then it turned to where I just wasn't fighting Something anymore. Something Mike Dyson said, too. Up. Yeah. He yeah. used to party after the fights. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. After the blows, you need some blow. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. I love you. Kill the rest of the brain cells. So, uh, stand up something you've always wanted to do? Yeah. I mean, uh, I was, I went to a bunch of, uh, well, I wanted my first time to be on Kill Tony. Right. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I've been thinking about it since, like, eighth grade. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You're thinking about Kill Tony since eighth grade? No, just like, dude, stand up. So that means Kill Tony is how old, Jeremy? Yeah, it's 34 years old. Yeah. (laughs) Wow. Uh, Is it everything you hoped it would be? Yeah, this is awesome. I geek out. I come to the, the, you know, I'll see you guys and I'm like, oh, hey, what's up, guys? Or, you know, I saw you driving. That's the uh, the blow. (laughs) I'll tell you this. I had, uh, I really love the way that uh, your brain works. I liked the uh, constipation joke and the lover not a fighter joke and even the uh, the funeral open casket joke. A little bit of a you know silly misdirect, but yeah. is your dad really dead? Yeah, yeah. Was, but he wasn't really buried like that, right? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Like that, yeah. How, how long ago did your dad die? Uh, a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. How'd that happen? Uh, well, man, my life's it's been kind of a crazy ride. I love it. Let's talk about it. All right, well, basically, uh, for my immediate family, it's me and my brother that are still alive. Uh, wow. Yeah, we lost uh, our parents. Uh, our grandparents raised us. They adopted us. We lost a sister. So it's been like a lot of crazy shit, a lot of drugs, a lot of... A lot Jesus, of, how does everybody uh, die? What do you have, Julian Aguilar's grandma driving <laughs> them around or something? <laughs> She's blind. No, uh, just like uh, my, uh, some cancer, some fucked up shit like that. Uh, my sister's not dead. They just lost her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My goodness. And uh, my... Wow. So what do you do for work? Uh, actually, I just quit my job a couple weeks ago, uh, but I was coaching um, at Boxing Works. Woo, shout out. Uh huh. Um, yeah, you like, quit that job. Yeah, I quit that job. My coach is really great. He supported me a lot. We're going through all the shit that I went through and stuff like that, but uh, it just stressed me the fuck out all the time. Right. Where are you from? Uh, I actually live in Altadena. Yeah. Altadena. So hey, what are you going to do <laughs> now that you quit your job? What's the plan? Uh, I, I just kind of want to focus on uh, trying to do stand-up and uh, kind of just... Uh, get back into fighting and training rather than just putting my energy into other people and stuff like that a little bit I guess interesting interesting uh, and uh, what's your record uh, I'm a I have 16 fights uh, a 11, criminal record a criminal record I got misdemeanors couple charges um, but I'm 11 and 5 11 and 5 yeah wow that's uh-huh. pretty that's pretty good would you mind uh, would you mind showing us perhaps a little bit of like your shadow boxing skills would you uh, would you be willing yeah. to put the mic yeah, in a sure. mic stand show us a little bit here he is, Anthony Cardoza here to show off a little bit of a. Uh, wow, look at look at this. Oh shit! Wow, that's a pretty. There you go, Anthony Cardoza. Wow. So you, my goodness. You did Muay Thai, not just boxing. Uh, I you specialize were... in Muay Thai. I fought MMA, boxing, but I specialize in Muay Thai. Are you single? Yeah, I, I actually <laughs> just. I just yeah. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Yeah, it's I just, me. I, I got. I, uh, my girlfriend broke up with me like a week ago. Damn fool! I'm single too, eh? <laughs> Did you say your girlfriend broke up with you? Yeah, yeah. Is that true? Yeah. So I gotta fix that joke. But yeah. We'll wow. Fix. No, that's <laughs> fine. Uh, why? How long were you with her for? Uh, two years. Two years. Twelve rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> why did she? Uh, why did she break up with you? Um, just I, I mean, she went through a lot with me when I was doing drugs and like the whole fight game and shit like that. But uh. I don't know, I think it just, um, I had kind of like, I would undermine her feelings and emotions a little bit. Uh-huh. Like well, if she would have a problem, maybe I wouldn't address it as much as I should have or some shit. <laughs> so like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so she would come home from work with something and she'd be like, ah, you know, something's bugging me at work and what would like your response be? <laughs> no, I would listen to, oh yeah. <laughs> so she'd be like, she'd be like, uh, she would, she would say like, Baby, we need to have a we need to have a talk. Can you turn off the game? And so you, then you'd go like, uh, yeah. <laughs> you just punch her? No, yeah. no, no, not at all. Nothing like that. Never. It's yeah. so like she, she's like, honey, I, I like I, I need to to figure out like uh, if 
I'm going to be included in your future. So, like, what are we doing, like, with, you know, what are your plans with me personally, like, right now, right here? What are you oh. going to do? Right now, we're happy. Like, why are you tripping? You know? <laughs> oh, a baseball bat. Yeah. So you'd be like, you'd be like, uh, you'd be like my, you'd, you'd be like my family, my whole family just died. And uh, she'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry, honey. I want to console you. I'll, 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 I'd like to make you something for dinner. What, 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 <laughs> what can I make you? And then what would, what would you do? Yeah. Uh, so like, for, but, but in, all, in all reality, in all reality, Anthony, I mean, you were with her for two years. Your whole family did die during that time. What the hell did she expect? What did she possibly want from you? Shit, I mean, relationships are hard, man. Fuck, I don't know. But, um, yeah, she, she was a good girl. I guess probably me fucked up and shit. You know? uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Craziest night you ever had getting fucked up on drinking and drugs? Oh, Is there man. something that you did that was just, like, epic, stupid? Yeah, you mentioned or? some misdemeanors. What? Yeah, I, have, I, I could fucking sit up here and ramble. for. But I'll tell you, the one that got me scared was, uh, so... We went, we went out to this bar, this club, and there was like a, um, a band and shit like that. We were jamming out, and then uh, we went back to the car. I was blacked out drunk in the car. Uh, my roommate took his amp, put it like on the porch, and he turned around, and I was gone. And I woke up in like three cities like the next day, and I, I had no idea how I got there. And they're like, you were literally like passed out in the, in the back, and somehow I just ended up like some other place, so I don't even know. I lo- you lost me in that Sorry, story. <laughs> you're, so you're saying your whole family is dead. Yeah. <laughs> your girlfriend is missing. Was she taken? <laughs> oh, Liam. I can fix that. Liam Neeson, I see what you did there. Wow. I don't. <laughs> Taking it to the maxima. I like, um, I like Liam Neeson. I, I actually, uh, so going off of what uh, Tony was saying about your jokes, I actually like some of your jokes. Uh, obviously, it's your first time, so you, you'll figure out, like, the, the confidence and stuff like that. But, uh, like... Even like making eye contact with the crowd whenever you land on the punchline helps a lot because it kind of looked like you were like sorry that you were telling the audience the jokes. <laughs> so like you'd be like, uh, and you know, uh, constipated shit. <laughs> but if you're like, nah, you know, like yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> cool. yeah. uh, that. I don't know. That yeah, I'm nervous as fuck. It's like a, you no, know, you're, cool. you're doing great though. It's your Thank first time. You. Yeah. Anthony, you know, you lost your girlfriend. You have barely any family left. Uh, and and I'm telling you, this is good for you. I this gotta is, kill Tony, and baby. This is, this is destiny <laughs> that uh, got you pulled out of the bucket and put you in so. the bucket. And, you know, with this and fucking fighting and find another gig so that you can survive and put food on the table and have fun with your life. You definitely have you definitely have a natural knack for it, man. I'm telling you, some of those things, especially for a first-time comedian, were actually really funny. It's an honor, guys. Tony. Thank you so much. For the yes, Pat Reagan. Um. Oh wait, 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 guys, guys. Pat pick now to uh, to talk <laughs> about what he wants to talk about. I guess I don't need to, but the the uh, the no shit the no shit joke. Uh, I so uh, I I had that joke. And uh, I don't know if you want to follow my lead, but not only did I throw that joke away, I quit doing stand-up. <laughs> and that's true. All yeah. of that is true. Well, there you go. The, the Pat, there you go. There's a little advice. He quit doing stand-up. There goes Anthony Cardoza. Back to the bucket we go. Everybody's having fun. Look at that. Is that mustache getting thicker as the show goes on? Yeah, and it's 100% real, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pulled another name out. Put your hands together for Carolyn Racine, everyone. Carolyn Racine. Hey. From that ledge, hey. my friend. One more time for Carolyn Racine, everyone. How's it going? Um, sorry, a friend of mine just saw me outside. She told me I was looking really good today. And I was like, no, you remember me ugly. So um, people are here in relationships. That's dope. I'm in a long distance relationship because I don't want to be alone. I just want to be like left alone. Um, <laughs> cool. Um, I would be excited to be here, but I eat a lot of CBD. So I'm just like here. Um, <laughs> 
this side now is this side for you. Uh, CBD comes from weed, but it doesn't get you high. It's just very good for your anxiety. CBD is for those of us that show up to 420 at 415, right? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I found out recently that I can't have kids, which is like really devastating, because now I have to have goals. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure they, that's great. Thanks. Fuck yeah, Carolyn Racine. Uh, welcome, welcome. First Thank time on the you. show. First time. Heck yeah. How's it going? Great. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, like seriously, maybe a year. Uh huh. I quit a few times. Why? Uh, I was hard. I wrote sketch comedy for a long time, did improv, and stand up was what I wanted to do, but I was like, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's definitely hard. So, but you no, have comedic background. You yeah. somehow look like both Jay and Silent Bob at the same oh. time. It's very impressive. Oh not God. many, not many I people can you. pull that off. That's she, why I came here. Thank I love you. it. I love it. <laughs> she, she looks like the Kathy comic strip went to Hot Topic for a day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Kathy so much. Reference. You're like if uh, Meg Griffin was Janine Garofalo. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's cool. like if, if, if Daria worked at Target. <laughs> <laughs> Chroma Chris. Like, Liam wow. Neeson is throwing them out there That's tonight. Great. Stepping up while the band's at the panel. I love this. I love uh, so welcome, welcome. Thank so you. a year and you've been quitting a lot and then coming back. <laughs> when you quit, is it like uh, you're like, just like, uh, I'm like done? I, like I first did stand up when I was 23 in Michigan and then I stopped. Oh, cool. How long have you been here in Los Angeles? Uh, three years. Three years. And so. you've been doing all those things. You've been sketch and stand up. Yeah, I, I wrote sketch in San Francisco for a while and then I moved down here. Mm -hmm. How do you survive? How do you make money? Um, I'm the assistant manager of a restaurant. Ooh, mm. man. What well, that's what I, that's not my real job title, but that's what I do. Wow. What restaurant? <laughs> I know it's not Hooters. Train for the job um, you want. <laughs> Whoa, come on. It could be Hooters though. Oh, I'm oh. just kidding. Okay. I'm joking around. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where I work. No, it's what, okay. Well, like what kind of restaurant? Like is it Italian, Mexican? Chicken wings. American. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a Mediterranean restaurant. Okay. Ooh. I'll I've tell said you. too much. I've said too much. No, it's yeah, okay. It's it's I'll tell you what, they don't serve buns there. <laughs> Wait, why don't, I, why, why don't, why don't they serve buns? I got a question. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what happened to your butt? Oh, oh come on, Joel. Great, Come on, excellent. this Thank is, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot ask. I've heard of dancing your ass off, but <laughs> no, come on. Joel, come so on. Much. You cannot. My name is Jim, not Joel. Jim. Jim's trying to come back from hitting on that dude earlier. <laughs> He's like, oh, look at that bud. Where'd it go? <laughs> Thank you Carolyn, so much. Carolyn, tell us more about you. What do you like? What else are you into? What do you like to do for fun to take your mind off of all the uh, 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 stressful comedy uh, stuff? Um, I don't know. I, I cook. I like to eat. And cook yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, what do you like to cook? I don't know anything. Um, I don't know. I just like to go to the farmer's market and <laughs> cook food. I love that. I hate that I said that. The farmer's really, market, I farmer's market, the actual <laughs> farmer's market. I'll tell you what you don't cook is rump roast. Oh, so guys, Tony, come on, Tony, guys, you cannot, day of my life. you cannot Tony. roast a woman's ass in 2019, yeah. especially one that looks I this can. much Honestly. like Hannah Gadsby. Tony, <laughs> Tony, on. I've heard of this flatulence, so but this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. You're all great. Carolyn. Thank you all so much. You're all great. Carolyn, they're just picking on you a little I bit know. for I having a flat it. butt. It's I love okay. It it's all lot. good. They make fun of me for not having an ass all the time. Wonderful. All right. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> you have a boyfriend, Carolyn? I do. How long have you been with him for? Three and a half years. Does he wear glasses too? He wears glasses too, he right? He not. I wear really? the glasses in the relationship. Hey, I like that. I like that joke. Sorry to butt in, but... Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I like this. <laughs> what's up, buddy? <laughs> Can I read it for you? No. Okay. No, it's all right. Um, wow. Jeez Louise. So, uh, Carolyn, how, what's your driving record like? Good? My, like a car? Yeah. Or is yeah. that a euphemism? 
No. Uh, I can drive a car. You ever get in trouble? You ever get pulled over? I got pulled over a few times when I was a teenager, like in a small town. You ever get rear-ended? Wow. <laughs> Actually, this sucks, but I did once. You did? <laughs> My car was totaled. I made a bunch of money. Oh, that's cool. It was joke, because I bought the car that in Michigan for like everything. three grand. Totaled it in California and made five grand somehow. Wow. It was great. Look I'm at trying, that. yeah. Heck yeah. What's up? Oh, don't worry about him. Don't worry about hecklers, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> we don't allow them in. I feel like everyone on the stage is a heckler. Though, oh, so it's come like on, <laughs> come on. We love you, Carolyn. We're here to we're here to help and it's support. Great. I'm Thank not saying so anything much. bad. I wasn't on the stage for a little while. Does hey, that include me? Look at that. Heck yeah, Carolyn. Anything else interesting about you that you think we might find uh, interesting? Any fun facts about I you? Guess your not, I don't wacky. Did your boyfriend ever put on the glasses? Mix things up. No. A little bit? <laughs> No, these are kind of new glasses, so I don't How know. How long you been with your boyfriend? Do. You already asked me that question. Okay, well, you can fucking answer <laughs> it again, lady. <laughs> the hell are we talking about here? I just wanted to Oh, know. you got me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, they were making fun of my butt, but I showed the host at the end who's the boss. I did, though. I told him you already asked me that. Uh, three and a half years. Are you just trying to see if I answer the same question? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Why don't, why, don't, why don't you just answer every question with a question? Okay, sure, sure, sure. Uh, so where'd you guys meet? We met in San Francisco. In a San Francisco. In San Francisco. You were just walking down the street? What were you doing? We met doing sketch comedy. Oh, so many failed relationships start that way. I know, I know. And, uh, well, that's interesting. What, what uh, you're doing sketch comedy, what was the thing that, like, obviously he's probably a funny guy if, if you're doing a sketch together. What, what, was that the, the main attraction or what was, like, the, the, t the starting point? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I didn't know him and I wrote a sketch that he was in kind of, like, to get to know him and then I just asked him out. We went and saw Maria Bamford together. Wow, yeah. that's the Another. opposite of Stalking going to see. pays <laughs> off, people. <laughs> Yeah, and all right. then we got drunk together, and it was great, and now we're dating. Damn. Wow, that's what it takes, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People tonight going to see comedians. Go Bill comedy, Burr, everyone. Maria Bamford. <laughs> all the greats. <laughs> all the greats. Yeah. Well, Carolyn, it was nice to meet you. Thanks Thank for coming on so this show. We, we There you go. Anyway, uh, this is a fun one. We have a regular on this show. You guys like regulars, huh? You guys like people that you see every week that don't have to sign up for the bucket? We're going to go to our regular right now. He writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. Always different, always silly, always funny. The un uh, Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the unorthodox stylings of the great William Montgomery. I'll be back. That is uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. If he were a elevator repair man going into a building, seeing the elevator in between floors, just realizing he doesn't have the right equipment. <laughs> I, uh, I'm glad I'm not a girl, but I think I'd like something alive inside of me. Ocean after watching Shark Week. That was my second best joke of 2008. Uh, uh, weird story is I died six hours ago. Tony, are you cool with, uh, I don't know, will this reach to the curtains? Uh, my, I don't know. Will it? Will Probably not. Will y'all pretend when I go behind y'all, I might have said that I've never repeated a joke, but I feel like it's in the vein of literally, I have a buddy named Tony Chen who I was in an underwater cavern with uh, in middle Tennessee 
I was high on drugs uh, maybe five weeks ago, calling a bunch of people, talking to my mother. Here's my best joke. Oh, okie dokie. All right, here he goes. He's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. He's stretching the mic cord back to the... uh, He's definitely doing something here. He's behind us. Uh, This is an impression of my father during all of my third grade soccer games. Oh, I see that. That's good. Y'all, that's how I opened up for Cat Williams two years ago. Is that true? And also Cat Stevens five years ago in the Middle East. I don't know if y'all know father and son. That Uh, is incredible. Wow, so you're just in it. I don't even know when your set started and ended. It's just still happening. I love it. William Montgomery. How about a hand for William, everyone? Coming out tonight, clearly performing in his good boxers tonight. Do you have boxers underneath those boxers? Do I have boxers underneath these boxers? I'm looking at you, sir. You just were holding that bottle by your lip. Let's give it up for my uncle. (laughs) William, are you making fun of that guy? I'm kidding. William, up here, up here, over here. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. How are y'all doing? Good. Uh, have you been uh, drunken sailing today, or like, what's what is this look that we're, that's happening? I have been down at Jacksonville Beach, Florida, uh, on spring break with the Montgomery family. First night, staying at the nice house, just hearing rat tracks above us just going to an even nicer house just later on the next day going with my brother vance buying whiskey smoking cigs in the carport wondering where my parents were fast forward three years later i have some good pictures with my father larry and i when i was real fit running and also some pictures of the girl i was with at tennessee knoxville naked very weird pictures. I'd like to I'd like to see those pictures. That also reminds me of something that you told me after the show last week in which you were telling me that your family has a full-size actual drawing of you in the living room that hangs up like some type of like luxurious drawing of you. They do. My mother was a, uh, a portrait artist representative. She befriended a man named Richard Ballish from Austin, Texas. Very good artist. End up being a bad drunk. Um. William, how many leaflets <laughs> did you have to mail in to get that Time Magazine hat? <laughs> that is a legit... Jeremiah, time. do you know where this comes from? And this is a very serious deal. Which camera Jer- do I Jeremiah. look into for my haters? The people, I swear to my God, haters. Tony, thank you so much for letting me do this. I think tonight is my final night. I'm sick of it <laughs> with the people talking shit. <laughs> no. There's no, the Jer- real. There's the real shit. Is there anything Comes that you'd out. like to say to the to the people? Is there anyone out in particular out on the internet that you'd like to call out right now that's been annoying you? There is a guy named Doctor Pepper. <laughs> 22 <laughs> in between the doctor and the pepper there are three uh periods and ellipses he's been talking about I, I literally you can't you just select that as a username william you can't you can't use periods and ellipses you can use underscores did you mean underscores i mean on aol.com <laughs> he is you've got man really messing around he's dr pepper and I'll be quite frank. I talked about Cracker Barrel Kid 55. Yeah, it is some guy I used to bully. I was a bad bully. He sort of took offense to it. There was one Christmas he had with his family where I uh, William, essentially w- w- took his Christmas. Tr- William, yeah. I was asking you if there's anything that you want to say to this person, to Dr. Pepper. Hey, Dr. Pepper, I'm tired of it. I've seen Zorro. Wait, you've seen Zorro? He talks about how I don't know. Oh, is that him back there who said that? Wow, it's Dr. Don't fuck with me! I have an agent here tonight. I'm trying to get on Rescue 911 on the Family Channel. So it really... Oh, man. You have, like, messes William. Me. I thought you were going to say you have an agent here tonight. It's your insurance agent. <laughs> I have an Asian here tonight. She's from the <laughs> Philippines. It's your wow. agent. 
Oh, I thought you said Asian. Hey, yeah, you have an Tony, insurance Tony, Asian. Tony, yes, Tony. Patty so Reagan. William has like a superpower. Yes. And does. his superpower is he can talk and no one will interrupt him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I know. I love it. It's incredible. He just keeps going. He's a goddamn improvisational fucking one man wrecking ball. With I will. Stuff. I mean, if 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 <laughs> people are and I'll be quite frank. Last. Last Monday, I was on something. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a line a as you. Okay, but it's okay. My wife's kids' wives are in town. I fucking hate child brides. There you go. My wife's kids' child <laughs> are in town. Get out of Chili's, my <laughs> buddy Tony Chin has okay, a peanut is, allergy. Let, hold on, let's talk about let's talk let's talk for another second about Tony Chin. A lot of people have been wondering, like, what is, are there any real updates about him? Do you ever try to reach out to this guy? I did. He showed up on my Facebook. People, you should know, and I was sort of horrified and also surprised in a nice way when I saw his face. And I just remembered going to the casinos in Tunica outside of, of Memphis, just seeing Tony Chin every time my father and I did the MS-150, a big bike race down to uh, Tunica. And every time his family would be gambling and I'd be like, Tony Chin, it's all right. Uh, is, uh, is, is Tony Chin's full name Tony Chincliffe? Because all the letters are, are still there, and I'm starting to think that you were scrambling one night trying to think of a name, and you accidentally looked at Tony. And yeah, and he had the grasping. facial hair. Yeah. Tony Chin, is there any chance that you're just, uh, that you're just, this is sort of like one of those weird movies where the character was in front of us the whole time? Like, a, this is some type of like Kaiser Sose thing to where I might actually be Tony Chin? Those I'll are letters in my. <laughs> I'll be very. Fr do you have the ghost music to the movie The The Ghost with uh, Patrick <laughs> Swayze? Do you mind playing I don't that think for it's a second? The Ghost, yeah. William. Yeah. I think it's just called <laughs> Ghost. Yeah, they did a. No, well, my point is, I'll be quite frank. It's been so fun doing all this. I'm uh, scheduled to go to the Philippines in two weeks to uh, uh, teach people how to swim. I don't know if y'all have ever met Asian people. They don't know how to swim. So I'm they, trying they, to. They, we have the music. It's playing right now. Here's my point. Seriously, it's so nice to be standing up here right now. Um, Dr. Pepper dot 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 at AOL dot com Ellipses dash 24. 22. Who said that? Are you that? really quitting the show? Are you done? Is this your last episode? No, he's not really quitting. He does this all the time. I got fired today. I got fired from my job. Wait, is that true? Did you really get fired from the... Why are we finding out about this nine and a half minutes into this interview? You got fired from the self-storage unit? I didn't, but I called in sick on Saturday. I'm worried one of my bosses watches this, so, and he will see that I actually was on a Fedrin. It's a hell of a uh, drug you can get at the gas station. One of my uncles was a truck driver. He taught me about a Fedrin. William, 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 how do your sets go in front of audiences that aren't Kill Tony audiences? Good question. Uh, serious question. William is looking at him. Uh, can you answer? Can I give you one of my best jokes? Uh, I know because you've been talking nonstop. If you want to do it, I mean, if you want to, if you want to do one of your. Do y'all want to hear the joke I'm most proud of? There you go. Let's do it. Do a joke, William. Thank you so much. I have a. This is like ten minutes. I have a. Uh, <laughs> Go a ahead, whistling William. album coming out in a couple weeks. It's about what it sounds like. Just my brother and me whistling songs like Jingle Bells, The Night Before Christmas, Where'd the Cookies Go, Smells Like Dad's Been Down Here, Who Put So Many Logs on the Fire, Why Does He Have to Drink So Much, Get Behind the Sofa, He'll See You, Who's He Yelling At, Oh My God, What Has Happened, Stop Saying That, Get Behind the Sofa, He's Staring Right At You, How Doesn't He See You, with classics like Get Under the Porch, I Hear His Truck Coming Up the Driveway, Please Eat It, He'll Just Get More Mad If You Don't, what? and It's Not a Ghost in the Closet, yeah. It's Just Dad. So, to, so, William, I'm really curious, how does that go? Like, how, how, does, it, how, do, how, does, it, how does it, how do your sets go, out, out, like doing stand-up? 
I feel I, d I don't like to view myself as a poet, but just in you asking me that, just in sort of poetic terms, me being with my mother, Frances, at the Kmart off of Summer Avenue in Memphis, and me stealing Legos, and Frances allowing I, me... I, I think that William might be too likable to admit that he does good. He does well. In front I think of he audiences, does well. yeah. yeah. I, th I think that's what I'm catching on to here, is that he doesn't want to tarnish his likability. Complete opposite of my approach. I would have told you I've been killing everywhere the first time you asked me. But I can't see. It's all a big blur. I'm being quite frank with y'all. In the Julian's motherfuckers grandmother? on YouTube, yeah. Eat that up. Yeah, William can't see. Yeah, he can't drive. That's why he crashes all the time. William, you did it again, buddy. We love you. Oh, thank there you. he is, thank William you. Montgomery, everyone. Yeah. There he goes. The great William Montgomery. That was fun. He's different. Oh, yeah. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Cole Alexander. Cole Alexander. Here he comes. What's up? Uh, I hate it when guys say shit just to try to sound progressive. You know, like the other day I heard a guy say that they can't be transphobic because they have sex with trans women. What the fuck are you talking about? That would be like saying, oh, I'm such a feminist because I fuck women. Dude, you can't penetrate your way out of bigotry. That's not how that shit works. I never heard a guy bragging about having sex with a girl and been like, that guy is progressive. He wrecked that pussy for Hillary. That's <laughs> not how that shit works. Also, I'm having sex with a trans woman. Has not changed the way I vote. Not more progressive because of it now, you know? Little post op trans pussy didn't change my view on the Israeli Palestine conflict. Fuck yeah, Cole Alexander. Look at that. All right. Talking about real stuff up here. You really are having sex with a trans woman. Yes, I am. Yes, yeah, the, I, I might as well mention it, right? She's famous on this show, the yes, great she Cassandra is. Cass. Everyone, this, who's, this is who's been tapping that fucking Yes, ass. I am. That is incredible. Now, we've talked back a lot. Back off. Yeah. yeah, back off indeed, you fucking haters. Yeah. Uh, so we've talked a lot about Cassandra's uh, brand spanking new vagina. Oh, yeah. Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you already have, my friend. Uh, <laughs> many a time. So uh, how long have you two been together now? Uh, the shit started back in, like, January. Didn't get, like, popping till few months ago then we you know, i think you need to change your said, your word it, choice for this one <laughs> so um like so, teenage bunny rabbits for the last three months though heck yeah teenage yeah. everything the way you describe everything disgusts me <laughs> <laughs> just everything a couple teenage bunny it's rabbits married. let's and check in with uh chroma nothing to do with it chroma chris L it's um liam nissan what? Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Oh, so, um, yes. so blowing a tranny is a totally different meaning to you in your circles, right? Chroma <laughs> <laughs> Chris yeah. is unbelievable tonight. <laughs> I love it. Killing over I, there. I like how like bro of an approach he has to dating a trans woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I dated trans woman. So what, dude? Yeah. Pop that it's shit. It's freaking dope. Post so, as fuck, bro. Her vagina doesn't lubricate on its own, so you spit on it and then fuck it, right? Is uh, that the gist of it, or do you still no. go for the old? You still go for she's, that sweet, sweet. She's got a drawer full of lube. Oh, yeah, okay. She's ready to go. Oh, she's, she's, got, she's never told you call her she's vagina. She's got a sex drawer, in her words. Yeah, it's a sex drawer. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying, uh, Jim? What'd you say, Jim? Nothing. <laughs> So she's got a sex drawer. Yeah. So you lube it. Up, you, uh, man. So uh, you guys go out a lot together? Is it mostly uh, like. Yeah, we go out some. It's a lot of like, 
I go to her place and she's like, let's do this. And then we just end up fucking. It's, right. Yeah. She's so like, she's welcome to Jiffy Lube. Yeah. She yeah. puts a little. She puts oh, a I get it. She's ashamed of you. <laughs> Oh. It's this thing where like like she's always like, We're gonna go out, I promise. And then we end up having sex and then like she's like, Actually, uh I think we're done here tonight. She did uh <laughs> when we first started hooking up, she would make me uh turn the lights off and leave my shirt on because <laughs> she was ashamed of my body, I guess. I don't know. Wow, is that true? That at first, yeah, but then now she sort of thinks like what, have you been getting she in settled shape? for she, me, I she, think. She, like she looked at you and she's like, I used to have a bigger dick than this. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, have you, <laughs> have you? That's true. <laughs> have you been working oh. out? Uh, no, but I have a job where I walk a lot. Ah. And so that's helped. I love it. But uh, You work at an Jeremiah, Asian restaurant? Jeremiah hit it on the point. She brings up all the time how her dick was bigger than mine is now. Wow. Look at that. So that means she has a bigger pussy now, right? Like... I mean, it fits in there, so logically it makes sense. So, uh, Dude, is her clit bigger than your penis now, though? <laughs> no. How big's your penis, Cole? Let's talk about it. Soft and hard. Yeah. We need, uh, we need both length and uh, girth. And Tony measures um, with his mouth, so go. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. I measure with my mouth. Very good. Shit, <laughs> it's a real Mexican drama. All right. Yeah. Uh, um, it's like the hand thing. For the length, what's the... I don't know. Well, you tell me what, what part different. of your hand. Where are we starting um, and ending there? Thumb to the is little it, finger. Is it your hands, I'm need the mic stand like, what to do is this it? shit. We right. measure uh, by feet in America. <laughs> are you about to measure right now? Um, what's going on here? I'd say we'll call it that. Wow. Oh, looking that good. good. Yeah, there you go. That's about that's about average. That's, yeah. Dude, is that hard? Is that hard? Is that hard? He's literally making an yeah. L sign for okay. loser, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's crooked. <laughs> Incredible, Cole. Uh, your family, do they know that uh, you're with a transgender woman? Have you had any trouble with your family or friends or anything? Uh, they, they know a little about it. They don't really, I don't really talk to my family about it that much. Yeah. So, so what, what are they, when you say they know a little bit, what are you talking about exactly? Uh, like they've seen pictures on Instagram and shit and they know it's going on, but they don't really address it or anything. Right. Is that a, have you, have you guys had dinner with each other's family or anything like that yet? No. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. So they just see pictures of you with this chick that's like way out of your league and they're just like, Cole's doing pretty good for himself out there. With they, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. They ask me why I take pictures with prostitutes. <gasps> oh. You're like, that's my wife. <laughs> my goodness. Jeez Louise. So uh, what do you do for work, Cole? I work at a golf course right now. Oh, wow. uh, golf we're course? Gonna, I work at a golf course as if though you don't see enough man-made holes already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a joke right there. That's not a measure with your mouth type of joke. That's a real thought of it in the moment. <laughs> uh, so how long have you been doing that? Uh, since like April, like a month, month and a half. Right Everything now. you do is like short term. The job, yeah. the girl. Your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson Liam Neeson is going to walk dude. out of this episode with a trophy. <laughs> We've never told Chroma, but at the end of every episode backstage, we give away a trophy to whoever was the funniest. Uh, you don't know about this. We've kept it secret from you because <laughs> this is the first time that you've done it. But you might win the trophy tonight, Chroma. Congratulations. I love it. You look like Meg Ryan on Ash Wednesday. But <laughs> Yeah, what is that on your... Now, is Cassandra the first... Uh, it's not the first transsexual that you've been with. Am I correct? Yeah, the last time he was on the show, you had an experience with one. Yeah, well, uh, that one was pre-up, and uh, that was a little different. Did that she was like look better or worse than Chroma Chris does right now? Which <laughs> pre-ups? He's biting his lip. <laughs> oh God, God damn! Same. I call it the same. Heck as yeah, long as you yeah. don't have that herpes yet. Somebody, somebody, lock up the lube drawer. Cole's getting excited over here. <laughs> I'm taken. Uh, 
Ah, uh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson. <laughs> Did you say take it? All right. It was too easy. <laughs> this episode's out of control. I love it. All right, Cole. Well, I mean, that's a lot of fun. I'm excited for you and Cassandra's success. I'm looking forward to the future for you guys, and I love it. You always have a place to hang out here on Mondays. Cole Fuck Alexander, yeah. everybody. There he goes. Cole Alexander on Instagram at Cole H underscore Alexander. Carl's Jr. Comedy is Carolyn Racine. Should we go to the bucket one last time, huh? I don't know. Not everybody w- applauded at that. Should we go to the bucket one more time? All right. All right. I guess so. One day it'd be fun to just do that and go, fuck you. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. Maybe next week. All right. Pull the name out. Your final comedian of the night goes by the name of Kate Malone. Kate Malone. Here we go. No movement. Back to the bucket we go. This is interesting. I, th- I think a lot of people have uh, a lot of people have gotten scared here tonight, seeing other people's sets and what has happened. And I think a lot of them are leaving as it goes on. Your final comedian of the night actually goes by the name of Greg Scamat. Scamato. Scamat. Greg. We just went down on you. We just went down on you. We went down down on you. Both of us are down on you. Here he is, Greg Scamato. Hey, how you doing? My name is Greg. Yeah, right. (laughs) Oh, shit, man. Hey, I think uh, driving tired is better than driving drunk. You agree? You ever drive tired? Like, I think it's the law of manifestation. That's why. Because when you drive tired, you're like, oh, I'm tired. But when you drive drunk, you're like, hey, I'm getting home. It's just a whole different type of vibe. Whole different. Is, the manifestation is real. Uh, L.A. is a land of opportunity, man. And I might get casted for this new TV show. You guys might have seen it. It's called Unarmed Black Man. It comes on Fox, CNN, ABC. I uh, actually had a friend that was watching the episode of Unarmed Black Man when they started doing an on-the-spot shooting, casting on him on an episode of Unarmed Black Man. It was wild. It's crazy. You guys should see it. Check it out. Thank you, though. My name is Greg. <laughs> is it? Is it really, though? Are you really Greg? No, he's not. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, Brian. Are you really Greg Scamato? Yeah, my family was on the German side. That's not even a German name. Skagmato <laughs> would be an Italian name. You even have your so white ethnicities say. fucked up. Je. Yeah. During this yeah. lie. Skagmato would be an Italian name. Yeah, boo. But I, okay, so is, is that you? <laughs> Can we see some ID? You, you know. Where, is there someone saying that I'm not Greg? Yes. yes. Who? All the comics. You're, Where is he? Uh, tw- uh, 23 and me. Well, unless so Greg. So when this happens in the past, we actually ban you from the show. All right, that's great. So get the fuck out of here. Perfect. There you Thank go. you. Red band Thank taking you. over. Thank Greg you. Scamato. Hey, you, Thank you. I, I, Thank you. No funnier way we could have handled that. There he goes. Man. Greg Scamato. Wait, you've but never heard not. of the German name Scamato before? All right. What do you guys think? Go to the bucket one more time. You've never heard that. This is not good. Yeah, that's another great idea. Oh, we know this guy. This guy's been on the show before. Has had a lot of fun. Put your hands together for the rooster, everybody. The rooster. Here he comes. Once I saw David Boreanaz walking through a farmer's market. David Boreanaz, he was Angel on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And Angel, he was Sealy Booth on Bones. Oh, fuck. That was, uh... Story goes, yeah, he's walking by me and his phone rings. Flip phone, not an iPhone. Important to the story. He's like, I got to witness TV's David Boreanaz 
answer his phone by saying, talk to me. It's a David Boreanaz thing to do. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> once, uh, I, uh, years after dating this girl, yeah, yeah, we broke up. I ran into her at a punk show. She was in the arms of her new boyfriend, and, uh, yeah, I handled it by getting blackout drunk. I remember bits and pieces about my night, but don't remember wh which order. My brain was doing nonlinear cut tooth. You ever drink so much your night turns into the saddest Quentin Tarantino film? Fuck yeah, look at you. The rooster. The rooster and Russo. Heck yeah. How are you? How do you feel right now? Exhaust. I just flew in from New York. You did? Yes, I'm tired. I'm Boy, are your arms tired. Ah. Did you really fly in from New York? Yeah. yeah. What were you doing in New York? I, I'm from New York, uh, visiting friends, family, doing mics, uh, whatever. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, did you fly back in a convertible airplane? <laughs> that, that haircut is really something else. Uh. You have more oil in that thing than the mechanics have on their <laughs> rags. It's actually a fiber cream. Is it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that wow. Sounds disgusting. My God. I mean, <laughs> get it at Ralph's. Wow. Get your <laughs> you must get all the pussy. Is that true? Uh, God, I wish. When's the last time you got laid, <laughs> Rooster? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> probably like every, two years ago. Every years reaction ago. is yeah. like he just like landed, like like he uh, survived a plane <laughs> crash. Like, <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, sure, yeah, the pussy, yeah, it's out of control, man. <laughs> Two Some years ago, yeah. where were you at two years ago when you got laid? Got, uh, I'm living in North Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, Ugh. yeah, it's exhausting. Oh. Yeah. You oh. went, what? You just found a girl at a bar? Or it, it it, it, a girl that I was dating for a short while, uh -huh. like sort of like. When you say short while, you mean you were dating for five minutes in a parking garage, <laughs> and then she escaped. <laughs> Like in that like gray area between relationship and not, not at that, no. Huh. Yeah. I, have a, I have a David Boreanaz story. Uh-huh. He, uh, I, th I thought he was coming in to, to Starbucks once when I was working there. Wait, who is this? David who? David Boreanaz. Uh -huh, from Angel fame? Get on to board, don't he? Yeah, I don't I've know. never heard of him. Is he in Pitch Perfect too? Because that's all that I know about. Uh -huh. <laughs> all that I know about. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, so I was like, is that David Boreanaz? And then uh, he turned around and he was wearing a hockey jersey and in all capital letters it said Boreanaz <laughs> on his shoulders. And I was like, that's David Boreanaz. <laughs> that was the whole story. Wow, that's it. Yeah. Uh, okay. I was trying to relate to Ian, you know. No, I love it. Hard to yeah, relate to Ian. I feel like we're connecting. Not yeah, easy dude. to do. Never yeah. say that again, okay, dude? <laughs> <laughs> This is a guy. When's the last time you took a shower? You seem like you the, don't. This more, uh, not even this morning. Like right after my flight, I landed. Not golden. <laughs> yeah. What? When's the last time you took a shower that wasn't golden? <laughs> uh, you look like you get peed on. I gotcha. We we got you, Jimbo. Yo yo yo, Ian, my man, rap with me for a second. <laughs> for sure. Would you kick me in the balls if I put on overalls? Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, that's my man Ian doing it up. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that's it. You looking like a snack right now. <laughs> Heck yeah. Do one more, Beth. Do one more. <laughs> yeah, Will you autograph my butt cheeks? These are all actually written down. <laughs> They're typed up. They're typed out on real pieces of paper. <laughs> Penises are gross. Do you mind if we put a little wig and top hat on yours? <laughs> Do you? I'm actually Wait, gonna you, follow you up to on that question. Do you mind if we did that? Put a wig on my penis? Yeah. Uh, nah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. What? Hey, you think we could sell, bottle up Seth Rogen's laugh and sell it on Pornhub? <laughs> there you go. Red Band's cue to do that one thing. <laughs> Do it again. Like, <laughs> he loves it. All right. Every time I haven't anybody <laughs> brings up Seth Rogen, he has to do it. Uh, it's a Yoda thing, too. It's both the same laugh, the same voice. <laughs> for, the, for those of you that want to know how to do it, that's Seth Rogen. Just do Yoda. <laughs> Ian, tell us about you. Tell us about you. Tell us uh, interesting facts about you as fast as you can, please. Okay. Yeah, I mentioned I was in 
Yeah. Mentioned I was in a series of punk and ska bands growing up last time I was here. Yeah. Uh, Why do you sound like you have braces, even though you don't? <laughs> when you talk, I was in ska bands and at skateboard. Yeah, I, I was a bit of a nerd growing up. Yeah, growing up. Growing up, yep, now it's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, tell us more about you. Keep it going. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I want to be a filmmaker. I, I, <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, yeah. Moved here to pursue TV writing. I'm a Jewish New Yorker, and it's not happening yet after four years. It's crazy. You've I gone know. to the meetings and everything? Uh, like, I, 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 meetings? I no, should, there's not. Yeah. So, Ian, uh, what have you done in order to help your television writing? Uh, I, I shoot a lot of shit with my friends, and... You shoot shit. Yeah, like, so like short films. Right. right. Yeah. Uh-huh. And what's, you ra- what's the name of the last short film? Uh, Are You maybe? Breaking Up With Me was uh, one that we did maybe a year and a half ago. And, like, so what's, like, the writing in that like? So what's is a lot it, of dialogue or... It's uh, a, little, a little bit, um, yeah, dialogue. A little bit too gamey. And, I God, I fuck, I hate I'm saying this, but in UCB terms, yeah, gamey. Ooh, UCB yeah. terms. Oh, yeah. uh, you did they, they, they've ruined my comedic voice. Yeah, Fuck them. No. <laughs> I know. How I many know. classes did you do at UCB? Through advanced. What? Okay. Through advanced. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Why? Why is that such a bad thing? Because it waters you down and it makes you all the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I, and it didn't work. And you're yeah. a straight white male, so you don't have a snowflake's chance in hell of advancing past any of the things that actually happen to you there because you're competing against a. Uh, uh, a complete lineup of floppy, diverse people that are more castable for absolutely everything right now. And plus, you're not really that. Just plus, you're not really that talented or anything like that. So that really oh. hurts. Just, just, just wait till the price is right. Uh, it's opens a crazy, up. crazy time to invest deeply in UCB classes. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Hey, have you ever queefed and a little bit of poop <laughs> came out of your poopy hole? Uh. Have you? Have have, I, yeah, I'm gonna follow up on that one. Uh, have you ever queefed and a little bit of something came out of your poopy hole? I have. <laughs> there you go. There's yeah. your one fart for the episode. <laughs> We're going through all the hits tonight. How do you yeah. feel about bison? How do you feel about bison? Yeah. There. I yes. like bison burgers, like bison meat. Okay, moving yeah. on. All right. Very good. Going through all all the classics before yeah. we put a big ribbon on this thing. Here. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yep, there's one guy. Fucking Bye, Sid. Bye, Sid. Okay. <laughs> okay, Joel. So, uh, Ian, anything else interesting about you before we go? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do listen to a lot of music. and. Yeah, you just yeah. listen to it? You ever play it? Yeah, yeah punk bands. Yeah? What, yeah. what, what, yeah. what, what, what yeah, instrument do you pl- play? Uh, guitar, bass, and yeah, I sang. Guitar, bass, and you sing. Well, there's no other way I could possibly imagine getting the fuck out of this show than by you singing us a little something here tonight. Would I I be able... Is there a guitar? All right, let's do this. Yeah, go right ahead. Any way you want to do it. Oh, wow. He's got what appears to be a guitar pick. He's got a guitar pick. Wow. He's going to play guitar. Wow, he's grabbed the guitarist's guitar. One more time for Ian Russo. Remember <laughs> walking through the streets, William Burke. There was just no everywhere. A Friday night at Parkin. Oh, I walked down, but I find you! Wow. Wow. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is rock and motherfucking roll. The new Reagan and Watkins album is out Friday. The 
pa release party is here Thursday. You got free tickets to that. If you want them, come say hi to Jeremiah and Pat after the show. How about a hand for this Ryan J. E. Belt drawing tonight? How about another hand for your guests, Reagan and Watkins, everybody? The new album is available for pre-sale right now. Reaganandwatkins.com. The party's at 1030 June 6th, this Thursday here at the Comedy Store. Everybody's performing on it. Anything else, Jeremiah? Yeah, come to the front of the stage after the show if you want a uh, free ticket to uh, Thursday night for the album release party. That's right. Patty Reagan. How about another hand? The return of Patty Reagan, everybody. We got a new music video uh, with Reagan Watkins. We want to thank Rick Kosick for making our Reagan Watkins video. Yeah. Rick Kosick! <laughs> and I want to give Great, a special Rick shout Kossick. out to uh, Chris Dillon and uh, Joel Jimenez. We have a band called The Baby Boys, and we're working on new music as well. We love The Baby Boys. Uh, how about another hand for Joelberg, Joel Jimenez, everybody, huh? Led the band tonight. Great stuff. He's on social media. Mostly sorry. Go to the go to the Ludwig HQ official Instagram. They put me on there tonight. Hey, official Ludwig artist. How about another hand for the trophy winner tonight? Chroma Chris, everybody. <laughs> Liam Nissan. Liam. Liam, what do you think about tonight's episode? Oh, it really revved my engines, Tony. Hey. <laughs> How about, how about one more time good and loud for uh, Joel and Nick who joined us tonight. Some of my friends, they are also on the new Reagan and Watkins album. You can also check them out with the Goddamn Comedy Jam. I've rocked out with these guys quite a bit. They've uh, got a great band called uh, Elemental P and Pulp 90s that they do. They're super right. talented Fucking musicians. Awesome. I've had uh, some of the most fun I've ever had in my life on stage. These two guys have been there with me. Absolutely. So I'm uh, glad you guys were here tonight for the first time ever. And we're going back on the road, so make sure you get tickets for that. You can go to DeathSquad.tv or TonyHinchclip.com. Really, anything you want to do. Or don't do it. I don't really give a <laughs> fuck anymore. Uh, and uh, how about uh, one more time for the Reagan and Watkins album, Red Band, and everybody, everything tonight. Thanks Let's a lot, guys. Here. We love you. Good night. I think we're going to...